All right, guys, so the first thing we're doing today is we pulled up on the wreck. Cody knows this wreck that holds a lot of permit, and uh, we got the blue crabs on the rods. Brooke's never caught a permit before, so I'm super stoked for her. And uh, we're right around 80 to 90 feet. She's got her bail open, just feeding line out and just letting that crab drift back and trying to find the permit on the wreck. Nice crab's getting nervous. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. You're on. I'm on. That didn't take long at all. No. Uh, they were deep. Yeah, babe! Oh my gosh. Yeah. Conley Rod's got a good workout this trip, guys. We got permit, black fins, everything on them. AJ's. Getting them too. Say it again? So getting away from the rack is key. They love going in the rack and they love the Goliath. Well, the Goliaths love them. Well, the Goliaths love them. But it's almost like they love the Goliaths because always run right to them. Woohoo! First permit! We've been fishing for less than five minutes and we already got a fish in the boat. These guys are awesome! In their mouths like that. One of the sickest fish right there. Stand the man, what you doing? Get my crab out, I gotta get the next permit. Can't let Brooke catch one, I haven't caught one that big, so, you know, gotta get up there. So, Babe got her very first permit I am super stoked for. Now Stanley's drifting the crab back, and uh, Cody's gonna hook up a crab for Brooke now. I'll show you guys exactly what we're fishing. So all we're doing with these blue crabs is take a crab out. You're looking to hook them on either side, close to the point, but not too close about a quarter inch into the shell. And just, you wanna do it slowly so you don't crack the shell. You want to look just like that there. And then you got a split shot, helps catch your crab down there. What is that, like a eighth ounce? Yeah. Stanley is about to cast into a giant ball of permit. We just see it's a big gray blob, big yellow blob. Well, that's all permit. Oh my, just cast straight down, cast straight down. No, 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 right there, right there. Yeah, let it sink, let it sink. That's all permit. Here's what's going on. They're at the bow of the boat. Brooke and Stanley got rods rigged with the crabs. And then the whole thing with this permit are very spooky. They're very boat shy and motor shy. So you gotta really sneak up on them. So Cody's trying to get it to kind of cut off the school and kind of get it to where they're just gonna swim right into us. And we are we have a difficult time because we're casting into the wind, but it's just this gray, grayish, yellowish blob that's sticking out in all this beautiful blue water. You can bring yours in, Brooke, and just save them. It's hard to tell on this bottom out here. Oh, biggest, that's Cody. Biggest permit here. <laughs> Stand the man, what you got on? I got a nice permit here. The fish with the yellow belly. Yellow bellied spider eater. Yeah, 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 I gotta put it in, the, in all that line. You guys see why we're bridling that bait as you want. With a circle hook to work, you want the fish to swallow the bait and you want as much of that hook exposed as possible. You want it as, you basically want your hook just to be free there. That's why we bridle those baits. Definitely some fish down there. You're going crazy, you just kept dropping. I mean, just like, yeah, just drop. If you guys just look at the rod tip and those just thump, 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 that's not even the fish, that's just the bait. Just, I don't know what happened, either the bridle broke or it just got loose, but bait's gone, no fish, so we're putting the, Dropping back another bait down. Wow. Come on, he hasn't made his run yet. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. Alright, we're gonna hook him with the boat. It's funny because you, you might you might hook a fit, a 60 pound jack that doesn't know he's hooked and you might be like, oh it's a small jack. They'll just yep. swim around, hang out, do their thing, and then they just dump you. Oh, yeah. Another big boy. We're way off the rack. You don't have to fish him heavy. Oh, yeah. Another big boy. Oh, he just got eaten. He had to. Hey, Stanley, talk to us. What happened? He got eaten. By what? What's going to eat that thing? I don't want to know. I'll never swim again. Cody's turn. All right, Cap. You ready? I don't know why I'm doing this, but whatever. Well, Stanley dropped down two times. First time, I don't know, the bait just came off the bridle. Second time, the bait came off the bridle before we even got in the water. And then the third time it got sharks. So now we are letting Cody uh, drop down a, what was that? A rainbow runner, right? Rainbow Dropping down runner. a rainbow runner. 
Yeah. Cody's hooked Cody's up. Gone. You want to pull him away from the rack or what? Yep, put the right one in gear and turn right. Animal. You're good. Just, just, just idling. All right. I'm getting dumped. Come on, Cody. You said you were going to give it to him. What's happening? Oh, what no. happens when you talk smack? You can't just catch an 80 pound fish. Oh, the oh no. <laughs> one of those guys. We didn't use any of those. Hey, I'm not going to catch it in two speed because I'm a man. I'm not a female. You mean in low gear? Get your terms right. Whatever. It's two speed. It is two speed. Well, the reel's a two speed, but it's in low gear. In the second speed. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, that might be a real one right there. Definitely seems like it. Well, we got no idea what this fish is. There's a slight possibility it could be a bluefin tuna. But what we don't understand is when a fish gets shark like an AJ, you know, they'll bite one half, they'll bite the other half, and then they might swim around with the head for a little bit, but they're not swimming around for 30 minutes with it, just with the head. They do what they want. We're treating it like a real fish, though. All right, looks like Cody's fish turned into a shark. Some gas. Yeah, keep going, keep going. All right, guys, we got color of the fish, and it is 100% not a bluefin tuna. Oh! All right, that's good, that's good, neutral. I say a big silky or dusky. Oh, he's gone. Come on. What? Oh, no. There he goes. And then I mean, that's all. Off. That's all we can hope for. It was your big day. How do you feel? You know, what better way to spend my day off than to fight a 300 pound shark from 300 feet of water? <laughs> Explain, Cody, what you doing? So, we're going to try to do some mutton fishing and. Uh, as far as snappers go, anytime you're snapper fishing, it's always better to feed them before you fish them. Let them get all comfortable and think everything's fine. So we got a mix of sand and chum here that I thawed out last night. And we're gonna drop some some sand balls down. See if we can't get them all chummed up. So what is the purpose of the sand? Just to get the chum down? Yeah, well you mix the sand and the chum together, you can make a snowball out of it. And it'll okay. take it all the way to the bottom, even in 190 feet. I got bottom. You got rock? I got rock No, I got bottom. Oh no, I got a fish. I got a fish. <laughs> exactly. You probably got rock by a grouper. What do you have, Vic? Huh? Fit? I don't know. Oh, I see it. I see color. You got a Mogan shark. Do I? Yeah. Come up! Oh, that's a lemon. No. It's a nice limon. Here is my trophy lemon shark that I thought was gonna be a giant black grouper, but it's not. Actually, that's a really big lemon. That is a huge lemon. That's a giant that's lemon. A giant <laughs> lemon. It's 300 pounds. They get big around here. You know, I'd be a lot more uh, at ease if this giant lead wasn't flying around. Oh, it's a giant! Giant! Look at that thing! I see something very I'm wrong flip going. Flip them upside down, they kill out. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> he, he didn't like that. He's a pretty well, thing. How's it, how's it going? Oh, it's going. It's going back down is what it's doing. We got it all the way up twice now. Stanley put his hands on it. I don't think he liked that very much. You ready to go to Splash Mountain? I don't know, but he's here. He's that thing's really big. Cool. That thing's large and in charge. Here, here, here. Just don't break him. Oh, oh, he's going, he's going. <laughs> what? Where did that there happen? Look at that thing hanging out of his mouth. How fast? With a hundred pounds. Hey, let me get, That's a, good. Let me get a snap of that. Black nice one, Cody. On Ow. Do you feel the